We thank Jamie Johansson for that report from AFBF in Nashville. We'll have much more on that big meeting throughout today's program. A new season here in 2018. It's the sale season for land. And Jason Lestina from Land Pro LLC is with us. Jason, as we start this land sale season right now, what are some of your early takeaways from the sales you've been seeing? We've been seeing some very strong sales on the high quality farmland. Uh, it's remained remarkably strong with commodity prices these days. Uh, there has been some softening in the lower quality farmland, uh, farmland that has a high percentage of non-tillable, along with some drainage issues. There's been softening in those, in those farms, but the high quality farms have been remarkably strong. So if you're looking to either sell or buy, that top quality land really seems to be still holding its value. It does, and we don't see a lot of high quality farms on the market right now, and there is definitely demand for them. You say, though, that farms with drainage problems or some other things are really kind of maybe depressing the value there. So if you're going to sell, if you improve the land, you're going to find a higher price for it? Uh, that, that seems to be the trend. Uh, buyers are being uh, very selective these days, and they want the quality farms that don't have the issues. Who's coming in to buy that land? Are we still seeing generally farmer-to-farmer -farmer transactions? Uh, the majority of the transactions we see are farmer-to-farmer. -farmer. There are a few investors uh, that are in the market, but uh, more cases than not, it's going to be the local farmer. Doesn't seem to make sense. Doesn't seem to pencil out to be paying high prices for farmland. What's at work here, you know, given this low commodity market? Well, and a lot of times uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to buy the farm next door, and the local farmers are taking advantage of that, and they're being aggressive in buying that farm. Give us some feel for what the atmosphere is like when there's a farmland auction. Let's say uh, it's, it's neighbors sitting there in that room, and how many folks will show up for, for an auction of real good prime farmland? What, what's, what's taking place there? Probably have at least 50 to 100 people at the auction, and it's, it's tense uh, at the auction. Everyone's sitting on the edge of their seats, and it's waiting to see who's going to raise their hand and how many times, and who's going to be the last one with their hand up. So it gets pretty, pretty exciting. Who else might be in that room other than farmers? Are there, are there buyers, for example, representing businessmen and women, uh, outside investors? We know some entertainers have invested in prime farmland in the past. There usually are some uh, agents there for investors, for either investment groups or, a, a, like you said, a, a, maybe a group of doctors or a celebrity. There may be an agent there at the auction that would be doing the bidding for them. Jason, this rip-roaring Wall Street market has not faltered. It's just kept climbing. Has that hurt some of that outside investing in farmland? Uh, I have a feeling that uh, some of that stock market money may be coming back into farmland. Uh, the market's at an all-time high. There's a chance of a de decline, the volatility in the market. Uh, there's been some whispering that people are taking money out of the stock market and going to invest it back into land that's a little bit more stable, uh, may have a little bit lower return, but doesn't have the volatility the stock market does. I've heard you guys say that in the past. If you track it over the long haul, it's, it's pretty doggone stable compared to the ups and downs of stocks. I want to talk with you a little bit more. We uh, hope you'll stay with us here. Jason Listina with us this weekend from the firm Land Pro LLC. They're based in Oswego, Illinois.